Okay, guys, so now that we have our settings set up, let's go ahead and create a checklist. So let's head over to the apps section over here and then click on apps again. And in the top corner over here, you'll see an option to create a new app. And here we just need to fill out some information. So first we need to choose the package. So this is just your license key. And then we can give our checklist a name. I have decided to create a checklist on the Parasite SEO strategy. So simple Parasite SEO step-by-step -step checklist. So next we can add a short description to show on app. I already got mine pre-written, so I'm just going to grab it over here. And we have some options to add a call to action. Uh, so we can add a call to action at the top or the bottom of our checklist. So I'm just going to grab my pre-written call to action. And I'm just going to do both, top and bottom. And grab my URL as well. So next we can add a description for application manifest for web store and chrome extensions page so i'm just going to grab this exact same description okay so here it cut off so we have a limit of 132 characters okay and here we have some more options of things we can add to our checklist so i want to have a progress bar at the bottom I would like to have bullet points in my checklist as enabled. So this would allow us to add some banner ads, app notifications enabled. So this is for push notifications and there's going to be a separate video uh, on that later. Email subscription in app enabled. So this will allow users to provide their contact information in order to access the checklist. Then we can click on save. And our project has been created. So next let's head over to actions and then click on edit app. And here you can see all the information that we just provided. So you can come back here and edit any info you like at any time before publishing to the Chrome store. Next, let's head over to theme. So this is the default theme and we have many options here for different colors. So for example, blue, gray, lime, teal, and the light is a reference to the text box. So here is a light text box. And if you prefer a darker text box, you can choose a darker one. My personal favorite is the blue, gray and light text box. So I'm just going to choose that and click on apply theme. So next let's head over to app icon. And this is the icon that will be visible on your Chrome extension. So here are the dimensions that are needed for the graphic. I already got mine done, so I'm just going to click on choose file. So first we need to upload the file to the web app and then we can set the app icon. And once you see the image pop over here, that means your app icon has been set. Uh, you can create your app icon image on any platform you like, for example, Canva. And I have included a link below this video for some Canva graphics, so some templates for you. and the size has already been uh, created to uh, match the dimensions 512 by 512. You can use the templates or you can just look for some new template designs on Canva. Next, let's head over to categories. So if you would like to do this manually, you absolutely can. You can create your category. And then for the category, you can create some bullet points. However, we have automated this step. So I'm just going to delete this and choose to generate with AI. And here you can choose your preferred AI. I'm going to choose Gemini 1.5 Flash. And you can generate a checklist from a blog page or a YouTube video. So for this demo, I'm going to use a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna grab my YouTube video link and paste it in here. And our checklist is ready. That literally took under five seconds to create so we have our different categories so parasite seo setup and we have some bullet points and the next category indexing and ranking and we have a lot of good information in here if you would like to add a category you absolutely can you can add a new category and within that category new bullet points 
if you're not happy with a category you can delete it you can move, move it up or down you can edit the bullet points or delete or add new ones and for each category you can also add a video or an image that will just appear below the category title and above the bullet points and another cool thing about the video is so if you have a youtube video but you only want to show like a short part of the video you can add a start and end time so th there's an option to for example show just 30 seconds of a youtube video which is really really cool and i would like to add a bullet point here as well so here we have a bullet point to use ChatGPT or other AI tools to generate content aligned with identified uh, entities in the desired word count. So I want to add a bullet point here. So I want to add a link for people to use my custom GBT that actually generates the Parasite SEO articles. And uh, just going to add click. So click here to write your Parasat SEO articles in under 60 seconds with this free custom GPT. I'm just going to grab a link. And add it here. And then we can click on add bullet point and you'll see that the bullet point has been added just below. And this is really, really cool because it's a clickable link. You can add a link uh, for your affiliate offer. You can add a webinar registration or a replay. You can add a link to your website, whatever it may be. Another cool thing is that once you publish your checklist on the Google Chrome store, if you want to make any changes to this section here, so to the category section, if you want to add some information, delete some information or uh, edit the wording or whatever it may be, the once you save all the changes over here, the changes will actually sync up with the live version. So you don't need to re-upload your checklist. Like everything will be updated in real time. So next let's head over to social links. So here you can add some links to your checklist. So you can add your Facebook page, LinkedIn page, Reddit, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, or should I say X, and your YouTube channel. So next let's head over to the videos and images section. So here you have an option to add a video or an image that will appear uh, at the top of your checklist when somebody opens it up. So for example, here is a checklist. Um, this one doesn't have an image, but it would appear here on the top. And this is what a checklist actually looks like. So we have uh, the different categories, some videos, uh, we can checkbox, the steps, etc. Okay, so let's save all the changes. And that's it, guys. This is how super simple and quick it is to create a checklist with Lead Blast. In the next video, I will show you some more advanced settings of how you can optimize this checklist even further. Hey guys, Tony Hayes here, and this is a demo for um, my web app, which I believe is one of the most powerful tools for audience building in the internet marketing niche. The tool is called Lead Blaster, and you can see here, this one account, this is my case study account that I use for webinars and tutorials. I have other accounts um, that I'm running multiple different uh, lead magnets from. But this one here has got almost 29,000 email subscribers. And what's cool about that is these are all within the internet marketing niche. Okay. Now, if you're doing so ads, how much would it cost you to build a list like that from the internet marketing niche? Okay. This is really, really powerful stuff, okay? And it's all pretty much automated as I'm going to demonstrate for you, okay? You can see as well, we've got um, push notifications, 167,000 push notifications delivered, okay? So what do these lead magnets look like, okay? So I'm just gonna open up in the Chrome browser. You can see it's a Chrome extension. And what we do is we create simple checklist by adding in a YouTube video URL or a blog post URL. We also able to embed videos in here as well so the elements of these checklists are from top to bottom that we can put a headline up here we can put a hyperlink call to action here at the top and also down the bottom we can put a hyperlink call to action and also we can put a banner which is what these banner clicks are here you can see i've got 4400 uh, sorry 4041 banner clicks from um, people 
visiting these Chrome extensions. Okay, now imagine that was for an evergreen or recurring product that you wanted to promote as an affiliate or your own products or your own services. That's a lot of clicks. Do you think you would get some conversions? The answer is yes, okay. Now the elements of the actual checklist itself, you can see these in blue are categories. We are able to add in embedded videos to each category. You can either embed a video or an image. And also um, we have got under that tasks and within each task you can emphasize each task with bullet points. Okay, so whatever you're showing people what to do with your checklist as far as like do a task or, or you know achieve something with the checklist then you can emphasize that with the bullet points even further now look as well when i check box these tasks this will move here the progress bar will move as well so it's interactive and it's a very high quality uh, lead magnet compared to giving somebody a pdf or a report which get saved on the computer forgotten about this sits in the browser and these are reusable as well depending on the um, the, the topic that you want to use for your checklist okay so um, I had one checklist did 18,000 um, got 18,000 subscribers it was a simple YouTube SEO checklist but people kept reusing that checklist as well now think about this in the sort of same principle as Russell Brunson's One Funnel Away Challenge. Well, that's kind of similar to what happened with me with the YouTube SEO checklist. I only needed one of these Chrome extensions to take off and then I could drive more traffic. I could focus more traffic on it. Now, how did it get so much traffic? Well, we got traffic from inside the Chrome store and we also got traffic from the Chrome extension installation page on the Chrome store ranking very, very high on Google for some very, very competitive keywords. Okay, now here's the real power of these Chrome extensions. Once people have installed the Chrome extension and when they go to open it the first time, this is what they are presented with. You can see we have an email opt-in gate, okay? They have to subscribe to go further. You can optionally put in here for a telephone number for an SMS um, telephone number list building campaign as well. And as well as that, you can see that we've got our calls to action very, very prominent even on the email opt-in gate, okay? This is where the real power lies, okay? Now you can make them um, single opt-in or double opt-in. Double opt-in is gonna be better because they have to confirm and you might want to give them a reason to opt in and you can change this text up here to identify whatever you're going to give to them okay now how do we create the checklist this is really really cool part so I'm just going to take you through very very quickly okay I'm going to click on apps and I'm going to come over here and click on create a new app now you can see that we've got a form here to be filled in right and to save some time I've already got um, information written out on another screen here so i'm just going to copy and paste from that particular screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a headline now first i'm going to choose my license package then i'm going to give it a headline and then i'm going to give it a short description now you can get ai to write this and make really compelling short descriptions okay the home page url i'll put in here um let me just write this by hand okay i'll just put my main uh, website in here and now we can put cta text top and bottom as well that's the hyperlinks that you can see here when we open it up here's the first hyperlink here's the second hyperlink okay so i'm going to take some text and i'm going to choose is here your newsletter growth hack revealed and i'm going to put in here a link which is an affiliate link to a program called sparkloop okay now sparkloop is a newsletter growth service okay so i'm going to put the same link down in the bottom cta as well but i will choose to use a different text in here as well okay and I'll 
I'll put part of the top description in here for this here because it's not visible on the app okay now you can see we've got some bullet point options I checkbox all of these that makes sure that we can put banner ads that we can use push notifications that we can enable email subscription opt-in gate that we can add bullet points underneath tasks um, to emphasize each task so it's very very clear even to people who might not understand um, terminology within a particular niche okay so it just lays it all out for them step by step and plus the progress bar now I'm going to click on save here and our app has just um, started to be created okay now you can see the description I put here is expanded here that's why it looks quite large now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit the app okay you can see all of the stuff that we put in here is there next I'm going to choose a theme you can see we got all these different themes we got blue um, we got for example um, sort of greeny color here and you can you know you can just go through and play around with these if you want I'll keep it light blue for now just for speed okay I'll click and apply the theme that's what we will be used if you ever want to change that when it's in the Chrome store you can come in here and do that and click on apply the theme then come over into the actions and you can um, just click on publish API update and it will update in real time in the Chrome store and you can do that for any changes you do so if you want to change any part of your checklist it can all be updated from inside the lead blaster app as well and you don't have to actually go into the Chrome store or re-upload anything you can just do it all within the dashboard of lead blaster now app icon what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one and just open this up I'll take this one with a dollar sign because this particular checklist is about oh, I've got to click on upload here is about making money so I'll just keep the little dollar icon okay now this is where the magic happens categories so what I want to do is I want to take the YouTube URL for a video uh, from this guy called Matt McGarry who's a bit of a guru for um, newsletter building and growth and he um, generates tens of thousands of dollars every single month from newsletters now the good news is we're integrating Beehive API with Lead Blaster so you can explode your newsletter growth just by using that as your um, list building option in the settings of Lead Blaster so what I'll do here is I'm going to choose either ChatGPT or Google Gemini um, I'm going to choose Gemini Flash okay and I'm going to choose the YouTube video and I'm going to click on save now I don't have to do anything else the checklist is going to be created for me in the background okay so this is where all the magic really happens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video URL okay and this video URL is going to be for a webinar replay from a guy called Matt McGarry. Now Matt is a bit of a guru when it comes to um, newsletter growth and he helps people to generate $10,000 a month or more um, from building and growing their newsletter audiences. Okay, so I'm going to click with generate with AI and I'm going to choose ChatGPT and I'll choose ChatGPT photo okay you can choose 3.5 it will be you know pretty good as well I'll choose photo and I'll choose YouTube video and I'll put the video link in here and that is all I need to do okay actually I've taken the wrong video URL let me just fix that put this in here I'll click on save now I don't need to do any more to create the checklist because it's all going to be built in the background for me but it takes less than 15 seconds okay it will just start to magically appear on the screen anytime now okay now the cool thing is talking about newsletter growth is we're actually going to integrate the beehive API and you can see as if by magic the checklist is just being created here in the background okay I'll talk about that in a second now the beehive API being integrated with lead blaster allows you to um, use the Beehive list, list building um, use Beehive as your list building um, list that you want to add people who install your Chrome extensions so you can see rapid um, poss possibilities for rapid audience growth with this okay so let me just minimize these so that I can explain to you what we have got here okay first 
we have got these blue areas these are categories okay and then we have tasks and underneath tasks we have bullet points that emphasize whatever the task may be okay you can see the same thing here this one this category has got three or four different tasks with bullet points underneath and so this is very very accurate okay very very accurate stuff that we got in here and it's gone through the transcript it's read and understand the transcript it's created the playlist it's done the categories the task within each category and where it's needed it has created bullet points underneath the tasks to emphasize the steps of that task okay it's very comprehensive and very accurate uh, lead bank uh, lead magnet and checklist okay so it's really really important that we get that part right because we want to give people a good experience okay so that is done now everything is auto saved in here we do not have to click on save unless you choose to move any categories up and down here then you would choose save categories otherwise you don't need to worry about that okay it's all auto saved so a checklist has been created in under 15 seconds and now what we can do is we can add some social links in here as well and i'm just going to take um, from the other screen now there's only two places I really use social media. One is on Twitter, and I still call it Twitter. And one is on YouTube. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these in here. And I'll click on save the changes. So we got some social links. Okay, now what we can do as well is we can embed videos. So I've taken the um, webinar replay from Matt McGarry. What I could do here is I could take the YouTube URL and embed that into the top of the playlist so people can actually watch that webinar replay and still have access to the checklist while they go for it okay so they can see you can see it's a valuable um, tool to give to people especially for learning experience in fact I've even done mini courses using these so I want to put in a header um, info so what I'll do is I'll just take that headline again and I'll put in here in brackets webinar replay okay and we can put in a button text and this time I'm going to put a call to action again newsletters I'm going to put here number one growth hack revealed and again I'm going to put in an affiliate link for Sparkloop who pay me 30% commissions on a recurring product now what's also very very cool about this is you can add a start and end time for to clip the video to the parts that you want okay um, this could be really effective for affiliate marketing but since this is a webinar replay I'm just going to keep it there I'll add the video and you can see that's been added now so that will appear inside the Chrome extension that will appear at the very top up here in this area this white or gray area here that's where that is going to appear okay so it's going to look good and it's going to be um, you know very useful tool for anybody who's interested in Matt McGarry's training to get the checklist but also I've got my affiliate link in there now we want to get traffic from the Chrome store I do teach in the members area some hacks that I've used to be able to get um, my Chrome extensions listed directly underneath very very popular Chrome extensions some of them with millions of installs where they're getting probably thousands of searches within the Chrome store each and every month I've put my Chrome extension right underneath them for when people search for those that trick that hack is inside the members area that can give you some rapid growth and also there is some training as well about how to rank on Google, how to write these Chrome extension description pages so that they rank on Google, even for competitive keywords. Now, Google likes its own properties. It loves its Chrome store pages. It ranks them very, very highly, okay? So what I need to do next is I want to turn this into a Chrome extension. All I have to do to do that is come down here and click on um, export to file okay or sorry I should say publish API and download okay so publish API and download 
and you can see I've got a zip folder and I'm just going to save that onto my downloads here. That is now a Chrome extension. There's nothing else to do. That is ready to upload into the Chrome store. And you have to fill in some fields there, which I've got training on as well. And we even give you a PDF for what to write in some of those areas where there, so there's no confusion, okay? And you have to wait between 24 and 48, 48 hours for the Chrome store to uh, approve your Chrome extension. After that, it's traffic all the way, list building on autopilot, and there's things that we can do to ramp up that as well, to accelerate it as well. All of that information is inside the members area. That is how quick, how easy it is to create these checklists, okay, for rapid audience building for email lists, for push notifications lists, anybody who installs one of these Chrome extensions are automatically added into a push notifications list and you can send push notifications from right inside Leap Blaster to them. You can do it from a sequence perspective like an autoresponder or you can do broadcast and the same with SMS as well. Now if you do add SMS option your um, conversion rates, your subscriber rates might go down because a lot of people don't like to give their telephone number but up to you if you want to do that or not if somebody does give you a telephone number then it's going to be a higher quality lead that you've got there okay for me i don't want the sms i'm happy enough to have push notifications and i'm happy enough to have um, my email list growing especially in the internet marketing niche without having to spend money on things like solo ads or without having to spend money on any paid advertising okay it's just quick it's easy it's autopilot and because we have made this ai powered it's now very very scalable it used to take me about 20 to 30 minutes sometimes uh even more time to generate these um, chrome extension checklist because i would have to do it all manually okay now i don't have to do it manually i can put in my own webinar replays i can put in the video recording from this video and create a checklist for you guys okay so that you've got a step by step on how to create a lead blaster checklist okay so you can use this in multiple ways use it for affiliate marketing use it for your own products and services use it for um giving people um a, a, a useful step-by-step -step guide to do stuff okay that they want to keep and that they appreciate and it's a tool and it's not a pdf or a report that they're going to forget about it sits on the browser with your call to actions on there and those call to actions are you know just getting clicks for you as you can see when we come into the dashboard we got all these clicks we got subscribers we got notifications delivered we've got banner clicks we got notification um clicks as well that's free traffic guys and that is very very quick and very very easy to do and one really important thing before i go we have built in a b testing or split testing as i call it in the push notifications why did i do that because i wanted to be able to test different angles for different promotions for different offers before i even send an email and the easiest way to do that is via push notifications and so we have an a b test um, feature there a split testing test feature um, in there so that we can identify the winning angles so for example if i'm promoting uh click funnels okay i might go with an angle of getting free click funnels uh, funnel templates or i might go with an angle of getting a free trial for click funnels or i might go for an angle for um click funnels tutorials how to build um your first sales funnel okay i can try all three different angles i can find the winner right inside the push notifications split test before I even send an email or before I do an affiliate promotion for that. How powerful is that? This is a fantastic tool. And there's a whole bunch of training coming for this, um, a whole bunch of strategy training coming for this. You will not believe the stuff that we can do um, once you start to build your list in here. There's really, really cool stuff that we can do for marketing strategies. And I'm gonna cover it with short videos and also some webinars as well. Okay, so you wanna grab this because after the launch, it's gone straight back up to $497 um, to be able to purchase this. Today you can get it on the product launch much, much cheaper for a one-time cost, okay? So you wanna jump on this while it's in the launch, after the launch is finished, it's gone back up to 500 bucks. I'm not selling it for less after the launch has finished, okay? So grab it now while you can because this is one of the most powerful list building tools available in the marketplace today. Thanks.